We're now going to look at some terms, turns when our opponent starts to sit us to our hip from legs. So although riding legs is a very strong control, we also have to be ready for our opponent's uh, counters. And one of the most common ones is getting sit to our hip. So for this one, I'm going to be cross body with a deep leg. So I'm going to come spiral. My left come, leg comes in and I have this lace here. My opponent sits me to my hip. Right? So, you know, this can be bad because if my opponent starts to clear, you know, clear their feet out, they can start to you know high leg over, they can start to reverse me from here because their hips are higher than mine. So we have to be ready for once we get sat to our hip. So the first move that I like to hit from here is if I know I have an opponent who is gonna sit me to my hip, I'm going to cheat by having my left hand underneath my opponent's armpit. So if I spiral, I get my leg deep, and I'm gonna keep it right here, knowing that they're gonna sit, sit me to my hip. As soon as they do, I'm gonna come over top with my right hand, I'm gonna lock my hands, fall to my side, bridge, and get my back ones and squeeze. So I'm gonna pitch my knees together, Get my count, partner starts the belly, freeze, and now look, elbow goes above shoulder. So we're just sort of creating these positions in which we are exposing our opponent's back, even if we can't hold them for a very long period of time. Almost every single time our opponent tries to belly, their elbow goes above their shoulder. So as that happens, I'm gonna get my hips higher faster. I'm gonna come elbow to elbow. Come all the way up, karate chop step off and finish the half, just like we did before. So again, this is gonna happen really quickly. It might be hard for me to hold my opponent on their back, but I'm just trying to create a scramble to start to attack that elbow. So I'm coming in spiral, left foot comes in. As I start to get sat to my side, I drop, I lock, I hit my opponent all the way through, and I pinch with my knees and just squeeze everything right here. Try to get my count if I can, for my opponent bellies. Boom. I'm automatically looking for that elbow, catching it, posting, thumb up high, karate chop, step off and finish the half. One more time. Here, spiral, leg comes in. Opponent sits me to my hip, coming over top with my right arm, locking my hands. My opponent has no post over here, so it's not hard. So long as my, my leg that's in is lacing my opponent's ankle, I have really good control over this hip. I can still do it even if my leg that's in is shallow, but it's a little bit more risky. Right? If this leg is shallow, you know maybe my opponent can square their hips. Bring the scroll to your knees as I'm trying to go, and it makes it really, a little bit harder. But if that happens, if I lose this control, I'm just not going to force it. I'm going to try to go. He's going to belly. I'm going to swing my right foot over top, and now we're in our legs with our opponent flat. So it's a good threat, even if you can't get them all the way through. So one time, just to get it all the way through, the leg comes in, sacks my hip, over top, lock, squeeze, get my cow. He starts to belly, look for attacking that half. So that's our first sort of turn from legs when we're sat to our hips.